Hi everyone, I'm April in Driver Recruiting and I have a very special guest with me today. This is Pete. He is a former driver here at Schneider and now we actually are co-workers and are both in Driver Recruiting together. Today what we wanted to do is do a video solely focused on the question, should I become a truck driver? There's a lot of people in the industry that might be considering this as a profession and there's a lot of thought that goes behind it on whether or not getting your class A is something that would be potentially a good fit for you. So we really want to talk to our special guest today, get a little bit of his background, what he liked, disliked about driving, and then we'll talk more about should you become a truck driver as well. So Pete, to kind of start things off, to give our guests a little bit of background about you. How long did you drive for? Was it, you know, all Schneider? Give me a little bit of your background. Uh, so I drove 19 months okay. with Schneider on their van truckload division, uh, hauling mostly dry van freight. Um, and really loved every bit. So to kind of transition into what we're doing in this video today, if someone were to ask you, should I become a truck driver? What response would you give to that question? Uh, I would think certainly uh, it's something that you want to do to where you want to travel, you know, see the country, um, and really just see a different side of the industry. Um, definitely. You know, uh, again, you got to make sure your family's on board with the idea. It's not something that you're going to want to run out and do necessarily without their support as well. Um, but if you, if you have a strong back family life and, and that I can support that, definitely the sky's the limit. What was it personally for you that led you to get the class A and to get behind the wheel? Um, it really came out of necessity for me. Um, I was 18 months unemployed. My job as a design drafter because of the 2008 market crash. And uh, so my, my job as a design drafter was eliminated. So that, it took me 18 months to look for a job, just really out of necessity. I decided, you know what, there's something I want to do as a little boy, I traveled a lot, so I saw big trucks on the road, <laughs> and it just kind of piqued my interest. So I looked into Schneider. As a contract training to students uh, right down the road here in Foxville. So, you in your driving role with the, you said it was 18, 19 months that you were out on the road. What do you feel was the most gratifying thing about that time? And what do you also feel, on the other hand, was you know, the most challenging thing that you struggled with during that time out on the road? Um, certainly, really, the backing aspect of, of the truck. Most gratifying I got out of it was just the challenge in that. Um, you see a lot of different industries, little small mom and pop shops uh, that have really tight docks to get into. And uh, so I always got found it gratifying to really, you know, you're talking a 70 foot vehicle, 53 foot trailer to fit in the tight spot so I could get it into a tight dock. Tough to begin with, mm -hmm. certainly around two weeks 
out at a time. Um, but as far as transitioning from one schedule to the other, um, my EBL, just Schneider in general, was very accommodating. And kind of speaking of money in your pocket, one of the biggest things that I think, regardless of the industry, when someone's thinking of getting a degree or becoming a truck driver, is the income. Do you want to talk a little bit about you know the income as well as the job stability with you know considering becoming a truck driver? Sure. Um, certainly, the stability is here. Um, you, I see it advertised all the time that Schneider has freight. Um, there, there's, there's no question of that. Now, I look at from a pay standpoint, um, you really got to look at it long term. If you look at it short term, it might look a little more discouraging, but you gotta look at it from a, you gotta be in this industry for like a long haul. Pay your dues, right? right. <laughs> so if you look down the road four or five years from now, where you're gonna be in four or five years from now, you can have a pretty good uh, established paying job in this industry. Um, if you're only gonna look at it from a two, three month, standpoint, that's where it gets a little discouraging. You're still, like you were saying, paying your dues. Uh, you got to really learn how to live on the road. It takes some time to do that. Learn, you got to learn how to just navigate the truck, how it maneuvers and all that. So you have a lot to learn early on in your career. So I've always looked at it as you got to look at it from a long term perspective. Years down the road, where do you see yourself? long term, yeah, it's going to be a good paying job. And one of the things, too, I think, that since we talk to drivers all day, every day, is another thing looking at that long term is even the benefits that we offer here yeah. at Schneider. You know, that 401k, if you're able to tuck away just a little bit off every single paycheck, we do have a great match program. And the health insurance, the dental insurance, all of that, if you have a company that's supporting with you with all of that, that's less coming out of your pocket, you know, to be able to help for that long term goal, Hire to retire and be able to, you know, retire and sitting well, um, you know, after a lot of years on the roll. Yes. So kind of switching gears, another question that I feel a lot of people that are not familiar with the transportation industry, the way that you are from driving now with the recruiting here at Schneider, is a question. Is truck driving hard? How would you answer that type of question? Boy, um, you know, it really depends on the individual. Uh, every individual is different, so every individual's experience is going to be different. And there were aspects that were hard. Uh, and everybody will probably find something hard in the industry about it. But uh, as long as you can be flexible, have some patience, because um, there are a lot of ups and downs with delays and waiting a long period of time to load. So there's just a lot of things that you can factor into how your games can go or play out. So last question for you today, if anybody is considering becoming a truck driver, why would you say go to Schneider? What's your sales pitch as a recruiter here at Schneider? What do you feel, what, why Schneider? Hey, you know, if you're looking for a, a great company with a lot of freight to move, um, we're always in need of drivers, of course, to move that freight. It's not gonna move it itself. So um, if you're looking for stability, great work-life balance, uh, this is the place to do it. Uh, they, they will work with you uh, and really uh, make it happen for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, all of your expertise and knowledge on the subject matter. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. For anybody that is watching, make sure to put those comments, questions below. We appreciate you tuning in. And make sure to ask yourself the question, should I become a